Hi, this is Samia from Henna Fixation with your dose of Henna Fix and today we're going to learn how not to break our backs while doing Henna. Did you know that doing henna can seriously injure you? Let me relate to you my story of when I first did my first festival. I scoured online for as much information I could to find out the chairs and the stools and everything that I needed to make sure that I did henna the right way. But it wasn't until after 10 hours straight that I learned that they were a few inches off which resulted in major strain on my neck and my back. I legit could not move for three days. I am totally not kidding you. So today I'm here to save you the pain and share with you what you need to know to ensure a good henna experience not only for the receiver but for the giver as well. A great posture can save you from a lot of trouble. Have you gotten injured with bad posture? Please share with me your story so I know what not to do next time. And okay, posture might be fine if you're doing henna on a friend or just doing it here and there for practice, although I still don't recommend it. A good posture becomes even more important if you're going to be doing henna for a long period of time. Because then not only will your body be perfect, but your design will also be the best possible because you will be comfortable and you won't be waiting for the session to end as soon as possible. So here are my learned tips on how to sit and do henna properly based on what body part you are adorning. Our disclaimer that this is what I learned based on my experiences and my physical condition. Some of these tips may or may not work for you based on your physical condition or experience. So decide on your own what tips to take and what tips to ignore. But before I begin, I need some assistance. Simo, can you help me show everyone? Mommy? Yes, you're the only Simo I know. I won't be doing real henna on you, Simo. I'm just going to be pretending to do henna on you. Let's go! This is the most common place, so let me just start from here. You want your hands to be on the same level as where you write. Remember those writing desks when you were in school? Yep, those are the ones. They're the perfect height for you and that height is ideal. So try to find a breakfast table or a table with adjustable heights where you can sit on a chair and do henna on. Or if you prefer to do henna on your lap, grab a couple of pillows and put them under the person's hand so your neck won't feel discomfort. I don't recommend the lap much but I know that for a lot of people it has been a common place to do henna. For me, it didn't really work well for longer events. Um, I could probably do a session here and there but not for too long. To do arms like forearms or the back of the arm, it is better to have them situated on a chair where you can lean forward and reach those areas while having a perfect vision of what you are doing. The best way to do henna on a person's feet is to have them high enough so you can see it and you can easily access it. If you can comfortably sit on the floor, you can just have their feet on a cushion or a stepping stool while they sit on a chair and henna away. If you're not able to do so for that length of time, then have them sit on something like a bar height chair and have their feet rest on a regular sitting stool. You can then prop yourself up on the stepping stool or a cushion and henna them from that angle. The takeaway is having their feet propped up on a sofa while you do it all in a weird angle will not only make them uncomfortable but it's definitely going to put a strain in the back. So have their feet elevated at a comfortable angle that works for you. If someone wants a mean upper back piece, I cannot recommend a bar stool enough. You can be standing or sitting on a regular stool while you have easy access to create anything in that area. For the bicep piece, I would recommend having their arms sit on an armrest or on something sturdy like a table so it is not shaky or hovering awkwardly. Any design on the lower back or the side or the tummy is best done with the person standing in front of you and you are sitting down. Having them be grounded to you by them either leaning on a table with a hand or having that leg be touching the chair or your thigh is best so that they're not struggling to find balance as you finish your design. It is important to tell them not to lock their knees because then you might have a person who is knocked out on the floor. Mm, and that might be more than just weird. Nice one, Somi. And that can be pretty scary and worrisome and then you get sued and you get all of your henna dreams taken away. Let's prevent that. If that person is sitting down while you're doing the design, when they stand up that design is going to squish because that's just how the skin works and it doesn't really look that pretty so make sure that they're standing up. 
Legs are tricky, my friend. If the thigh is being done, having a location on your eye level would be ideal. Have them stand again while being grounded somehow without locking their knees while you sit on a stepping stool. If you need to reach different areas, you can simply have them turn around. That way, the thigh should be right at your eye level and your back should not have to bend in awkward angles. Remember, the key is your comfort. As long as you're comfortable, you can keep doing henna for many years. If you're doing henna on a maternity belly, this is the best way I have found. But it might seem a little inappropriate. Maybe? Don't worry, Somi, this is only a demonstration. The lady will sit on a sofa, leaning on the back, propped up with pillows if she needs to be, and then you are sitting right in the middle of her legs. Yep, spread them legs and sit right in the middle on a stool and behold a canvas that is a beautiful belly of an expecting mother. Seriously, these are one of my favorite sessions because the baby is right there and the mother is being adorned in the area which she cherishes the most at that time. So make it great, make it relaxing and it's going to be the most relaxing session for you too. I recommend sitting on a stool and not on a pile of cushions because that does not give you much mobility. Um, I tried doing that and my feet were bent in weird angles and it hurt a lot. There you have it. These are the trips I have learned to ensure a great hand experience for the giver of the art. Hey, thanks Somi. Did I miss something? Did you enjoy it? Do you have any tips to share? Like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe so we can see each other more. Thank you very much for watching Henna Fixation and Henna On.